We've seen Viasat 3 as something we've been envisioning for decades. We saw that people needed to be connected no matter where they were in the world. When we started the company, one of the biggest things that motivated us is we weren't afraid to try something new. A long time ago, we were designing an entirely different satellite and we got a better idea of how to do broadband in a way that we could fundamentally change the system architecture to have a lot of flexibility and even more capacity than the satellite that we were going to build. All engineers tend to be very conservative. So when I showed the spec to my team, uh, of course they said, are, are you kidding? <laughs> you want us to do this? I think I did have a pretty good feeling of what we're starting. When we realized we were onto something new and very different than what we were doing before, and that was the start of ISF 3 When you're dealing with invention, it's a whole different story. Viasat 3 involved the invention of a whole new set of elements to be able to achieve that kind of capacity. What we wanted was to invest in technology that can really scale. It's not just a new satellite design, it's a new way to build satellites. Preparing for Viasat 3 has been quite a ride. And of course we hit some bumps along the way, part of what makes the job fun. We overcame them each as they happened and we're looking forward to seeing the result. At times it seemed impossible, but we, through the discipline, dedication, Hard work of ISAT team, we managed to put the checkbox, it's done, we're ready to launch. The road to ISAT 3 has been amazing. We're expecting to prove to the world that the things you can set your sights on and do are pretty cool.